Good morning. How are you today? Hopefully the weather is sunny. Um, although I don't know, actually, because this is a pre-recorded one, pre-recorded Textile Tuesday, because I'm actually off on retreat over at the Makerspace, Long Barn Village. We've got the retreat ladies over there this week. So I'm kind of being in two places at once today. Um, and we know that you really like Textile Tuesday. So we thought we would do a pre-recorded one so that uh, you're not missing out on any of these gorgeous fabrics. So because this is going to go out next Tuesday, today, next Tuesday, is going to be the first day of Chelsea. So we thought we would celebrate everything floral today for you. And we've got a whole range of different kinds of fabrics that are florals. In fact, I am wearing my own floral Angelica today as well. So all of our dress patterns, it's all about the summer dress today. Um, all of our patterns will work with these fabrics. They're all wovens, which is really nice and easy to use. So we've got the patterns that we're working on today. Angelica, which is what I'm wearing. We've got the plain short sleeve version there. Florence, which is a gorgeous one. Now we've got the Florence round neck there, which is lovely. Little keyhole opening at the back there. But you can do what you like with the sleeves, quite honestly. Um, but that's brilliant. We've got Jessica, slightly boxier kind of shape, a V-neck, although we have got the hack out now to make the round neck version as well, which is really lovely. So that's a really pretty one. I've got one of those in denim, which I wear a lot, which is brilliant. And that's in a beautiful printed cotton lawn. We've got Lavinia. So this is lovely. This is one of our, this is our summer kind of strappy summer dress. And it's got the shearing on the back there. So it's a really lovely little kind of feature to have on the back of the panel. And again, this is printed or uh, made up in a printed cotton lawn, which is really pretty. We've also got Celia. Now this is one of the Celia hacks actually, but I love this fabric. Again, it's a cotton lawn, which is really lovely to work with, but it's got lots of little kind of details like the, f the little frills, which actually work really nicely with a kind of a small print. You can kind of make a real feature of that which is brilliant. Um, we've got Kate. So again, this is another of our Kate hacks with the keyhole opening and the binding has been taken round into ties on the neck and the wrist, which is really pretty. Actually, this works brilliantly for a big, bold print because you've got no seam detail through the dress. So it's an excellent one for kind of showing off large expanses of beautiful fabric, which is lovely. And if you are looking for something that's kind of a little bit more feminine, a little bit frilly, if you like things that are a bit more fitted, iris as a kind of a going out, out kind of top, that works really well. And again, we've just edged the um, the edge of the flounce with a, a kind of a different colour, a contrast colour thread on the overlocker. And we've done a rolled hem, which is brilliant. Now, if you're interested in learning more about using your overlocker, we've got a couple of workshops coming up, which is brilliant. Let me pop that back there. So on Monday the, let me just check my dates, Monday the 11th of June, we have the Love Your Overlocker. And then we've got the following day, we've got Working With Jersey which is brilliant, actually. So you can learn how to use the overlocker one day, come back and then use that knowledge to work with a jersey fabric to make up a T-shirt, which is brilliant, actually. So the two, those kind of two work really nicely together. So again, if you're kind of trying to upskill everything, then that makes a big difference as well. We're working, I'm talking about upskilling. We're working on a series of workshops at the moment that will kind of that are kind of more masterclasses. So we've had the Zips one recently. We've got a Hems coming up, so a Hems masterclass or a skills builder we're calling it. And we've also got a collars and plackets one coming up too, which is brilliant. I'm saying brilliant quite a lot again, aren't I? Maybe it's one of those things. It's like the um, there we have it, or there it is, or something. I can't remember what I used to say. Anyway, I digress. Let's get onto the fabrics. Now, this is the fabric that we've made up the sample of the Celia in. It's called Loretta. It's a cotton lawn, but again, it's a really pretty one. It has a very, has a dark kind of black 
um, well, char it's charcoal grey, actually. It's not quite black, black background. But that acts as a really lovely kind of foil for all the peachy pink flowers, which works brilliantly. It's a lovely fabric to work with. It's stable. It kind of behaves itself. But it's equally, it's really nice and soft. So that would work brilliantly with any of our dress patterns. So that's Loretta, cotton lawn, 140 wide, which is brilliant. And then we've got similar kinds of colours, although actually the darker tones in this are more like a, a very dark, dark sage green, almost like the, um, the hunter's green of our laundered linen, which is brilliant. Brilliant, I said it again. Brilliant. I'm going to have to stop saying that word, aren't I? Um, this is a viscose rayon. But it has a little tiny dobby spot woven through it, actually, which gives it a little bit more texture. And that looks lovely. So, again, if you've got any kind of summer parties, garden parties, weddings or something like that to wear, to go to, this would make up beautifully in an Angelica or even a Florence, actually. And that would just look lovely. Really, really pretty. It's called Dobby Digital Watercolour viscose again it's another one we're going to have to pull out all these ones live aren't we to rename them and give them a proper name actually it wants a lovely kind of florally name doesn't it so this again is dobby digital dobby it's almost like a tongue twister isn't it dobby digital watercolor viscose but i think that's really pretty that would look so lovely made up we'll shove that one up the back there now this is Betty, if I remember rightly. Yes. So, and this is the fabric that we've made up the Florence sample in. It is a viscose again, um, and it's a twill weave. So it's got a tiny, tiny bit of texture. So if you imagine that um, the weave looks a bit like jeans, that's a twill weave, that kind of diagonal, slight diagonal stripe. So it's not completely flat, which is actually quite nice. But again, you've got that kind of viscose wobble to it, which is really lovely. Um, and again, this is, although it's a kind of, we put it in the silky drapey category on our website, it's actually really easy to work with. It's not too um, slippy and it won't kind of be a bit too rebellious under your sewing machine. So I think that's a really pretty one. It does have a black background, but the colors in it are just amazing really vibrant and bright which is lovely so this is betty so let's go back and pop that one over there now this is another fabric godmother and this is viola now this i think is gorgeous i absolutely adore that it's a proper tomato red so it's quite an orangey red um, in fact if you probably had it on its own it probably would look just orange on its own actually but I love the way that they, they've paired it with this proper sugary kind of pink and the bright emerald green it's a very kind of abstract floral but I think that is amazing I mean that's a proper showstopper isn't it if you went to a function in that you wouldn't get missed would you so that one is viola again 140 wide again it's a viscose twill so it does have that kind of very slight little kind of diagonal line going through the weave which again just keeps it a little bit it stops it being too flat which I think is really rather nice so let's pop that one over there now Haley's actually made up a top in this and it looks fabulous she's standing around the corner actually she's probably thinking oh my god what the hell is she going to say now but this is lovely. Now, again, I think this one could probably have a better name. It's called Red Floral Viscose Print. Now, I know we featured that maybe last week or the week before. I can't remember. I love it. I love the colours in this. They're bright and clear and clean kind of colours. So the red background is beautiful. And then you've got these lovely little kind of cornflower flowers on here. But it's got lots of other colours in here that you could kind of pick out, which is really pretty. So you've got a little bit of pink. The green, a pale yellow. You've got a darker kind of periwinkle blue, which I think is really pretty. Again, this is a viscose, um, and it's a viscose crepe this time. So it has a little bit of a crimp to the yarn as it's being woven. So that's how you get that kind of slightly little bit of a 
yes, a crepey kind of texture to it, but it's really pretty. It's a very soft one, and I think that's gorgeous. And again, that would make up in lots of different patterns, which is rather lovely. So let's pop that one over there. Now we've got another couple of Fabric Godmother ones. This is new to us, this Celine. I love this. And it just looks incredible. Gorgeous colours in there. Again, it has a very kind of soft, almost like a mauve background, but the pink flowers. There we go. Just really pick it out. It's lovely. Really nice. In fact, one of our diploma ladies had a load of this um, for a new dress that she's making. In fact, our diploma ladies graduate very soon, literally in a couple of weeks. And we will be putting up more information about the new diploma that's going to be starting in September. So look out for that, which is really cool. Talking of new things, by now, because I'm recording this, so by the time you watch this next Tuesday, we'll have two new events coming up in uh, August. Um, we are planning certain different kinds of events that are going to happen up at the Makers Space, which is our new place at Long Barn Village, just outside Ulster. We're going to be moving in a couple of weeks and we'll keep you posted on all of that. Um, and when we're back up and running, because you'll be able to actually come and visit us in person. We're going to have lots more fabric. We'll have a proper fabric store. Um, we're hoping the cafe will be open relatively quickly. Um, if you know anybody who's looking for a chef's job, please tell them to get in touch because we are looking for someone to cook lunches for us in the cafe. Um, we've got loads of things going on, but the most important ones are... We have a summer frocktail party coming up on August Bank Holiday. So the Friday night of August Bank Holiday. And again, there is information on the website that we can share with you. And I'll be talking about it properly when I'm back in the studio again. Um, and that kind of coincides with a new kind of sewing retreat. It's a small, magical sewing retreat. And that's going to be really cool. There's lots of lovely stuff that we're going to be doing with that. So if you come on the retreat, you will have automatic um, tickets to the Frocktail Party on the Friday night. So what happens in the August retreat is that people rock up on the Thursday evening. We have supper together, get to know each other. and We have a whole day of sewing on Friday. And then you've got the Frocktail Party. Um, We'll be recovering Saturday morning. We'll <laughs> there'll be lots of lovely things to kind of help restore you after a night of partying at the Frocktail party. Um, and then we've got uh, more sewing through until Sunday afternoon, which is really cool. Lots of other things that I'm not going to tell you about. But um, now, because it's all inf information in our, uh, on the website about that as well, um, there is a separate PDF that you can download that has more information on each of those events. So do have a look through. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be such cool fun. It really is. I can't wait. It's going to be lovely. So we've got lots of things going on there as well. Um, the second, the other fabric, God, let's get back to the fabrics. The other fabric God godmother fabric I've got here is... Scylla. Again, that's a lovely one. This is another viscose crepe, but it's got so many beautiful colours in there that, again, if you're looking for a special dress to wear to an event or something like that, this is ideal. It really is. So pretty. Lots of different colours. Again, it's on a very, very dark... I think it's a dark navy rather than black, actually, background. But all of those bright colours just pop on that background, which I think is brilliant. So that's Scylla. And then we've got some Atelier Brunette fabric. So again, it's printed onto a viscose background, but this is lovely. So this would make up beautifully in something like the Kate dress because you haven't got any of the seaming detail there and you can really make a feature of your fabric with that, which I think is great. So again, it has like this smoky kind of mauve background with the very, very dark, almost night, midnight navy and the dark kind of teal green leaves and these lovely kind of neutral flowers, I think is really pretty. So again, that would work splendidly with something that hasn't got too many pattern pieces because you don't really want too much seaming detail to break up the design of the fabric. But that works brilliantly. Then we've got, oh, I love this. Again, 
Hayley knits. Hayley gets all the best fabrics first. She's got a frock in this as well, and it looks amazing. So this is uh, Joni. I love the kind of folk art stylized flowers on this. Really pretty. Now this would work brilliantly on the Angelica because you could really make a feature of the tears on the pattern with the stripes in the fabric and I think that would work together really nicely. And it's you could almost turn it around the other way so you could have the stripes going down the bodice and then going across the skirt which is another way to kind of utilise the stripe effect in the fabric which is quite nice. But again I love all of this. It's got a dark midnight blue background although it might come across as black on here. It is actually navy but that works brilliantly. So that's Joni. Again 140 wide. Oops. Now another Atelier brunette one. This is very sweet. This is Lucy in river and again it's a visco smaller design with this and again it's quite a kind of classic muted co kind of colors but again it's a really pretty pretty design we have got it in other colorways we've got it in the yellow and we have it in a darker blue as well which is really nice and again this is a viscose as i said but it's got some lovely almost like um a mid blue through here De almost like a denim blue which is rather nice. So again, that would make up really nicely in um, in the top, in the Celia top, or even in the iris, which could look rather nice. You could pick out that lovely kind of almost burnt orange colour in there to overlock around the edge of the flounce, which would look really pretty. So that is Lucy River. And we've got another one. Now, this is lovely, actually. So again, more of an abstract kind of floral. Again, it's a viscose. Different kinds of shades of navy blue background, but with a lovely kind of gold, almost almost marigold kind of colour flowers, actually, which is really pretty. And again, it's so soft, really soft. Now, this is just a very simple plain weave fabric, so it's completely matte, but I think it just relies on the print for impact. I think that's lovely, actually, really nice one. So again, that would work with all kinds of different patterns. Actually, it would look really nice in a Jessica. I think that would work beautifully. So this one is called Radiance Digital Cobalt Flowers Viscose. Again, a bit more of a better title, but not quite as imaginative, eh? Now, again, this is another fab got fabric called Mother, but this is really lovely. So this is a Georgette. So it has got a bit of translucency to it. So you can kind of, and again, it's so pretty, so pretty. Beautiful floral kind of trellis work design on there. So again, if you had that as a big kind of um, lovely full skirt I think that would look really sweet you could just make this up as a dress on its own and wear a slip underneath it if you wanted to or I think this made up as a big kind of kimono style jacket over anything a little vest and some jeans I think that would look amazing really pretty so this is called Daphne it's a floral viscose Georgette with a navy background but again that's very cute very sweet Another navy background, this time with almost kind of candied sweet kind of colours on here, which I think is really pretty. So again, another viscose. Viscose is so popular. Um, navy petals viscose, this one. Another 140 wide fabric. I love the colours. It's almost like you've taken a load of um, little sugar, sugar flowers and sprinkled it all over the fabric, actually, which is really pretty. Again, it has that lovely kind of drape and fall to it, which is brilliant. I like that one a lot. I think Sharon had some of that, didn't she, before she went? Yeah, that's nice. So, navy petals in viscose, which is another nice one. Now, if you're looking for a bit of a statement one, then this is big and bold. This is lovely. It's called Blooms on Royal. It is a poly, 
but it feels really nice actually. It doesn't feel synthetic at all. But again, that's going to give you a proper impact with the kind of cobalt blue and the yellow, white and black flowers on there, which is rather nice too. So, what was that one? Blooms on Royal in polyester, but it's a really nice quality fabric actually. It's lovely. Oh, there we go. Now we have got workshops coming up for a lot of our summer dresses. So if that's something that you're interested in making, but you're kind of thinking, oh, I'm not quite sure. I'm worried about getting the fit right or how do I do the buttons or something like that. Come and join us because that's where we can help and we can help you get the right fit. So we've got um, we've got the Ursula summer dress coming up on the 31st of May, which is a lovely one. I haven't got it here, but you can see the photos on the website and it just looks so beautiful. It's just a really simple little shape and all of these fabrics would work with that pattern as well. If you're new to dressmaking or you just kind of want something that's quick and easy or do you know what, if you just want to make time for yourself because if you're struggling to find time to sew at home, coming to a workshop is a really good idea because you know you've got the time and the space to do that, to focus on yourself and get some help if you want to. We have got mowers going on outside, so if you can hear any noise in the background, that's what it is. So we've got the uh, Ursula coming up on the 31st. We've got the Lavinia dress, which is beautiful. So we deal with shearing on that um, workshop as well, So which can be a little bit tricky to kind of get your machine to adjust to. But once you get there, it's really good. And it's such a lovely technique to ap apply on lots of other patterns as well. So we've uh, that's coming up on the 7th and 8th of July. We've also got the Juno dress, which I haven't got here again, but that's a lovely one. More of a tunic kind of style and makes up fantastically in linen. We've got that coming up on the 17th of July. And we've also got the Jessica and the Florence. So you can make one or the other because they're both very similar. We thought we'd give you the option of deciding which style you can choose from. So we've got Jessica or Florence that you could make up in a day because they're quite simple really and we've got that coming up on the 27th and 28th of July. Now all of these workshops apart from the Ursula one all of the anything from June will be at our new studio and I'm so excited. We're going to do while well, we're over there for the retreat uh, next week we're going to do a quick walk around and show you what's going on and, and how things are progressing there because it's such an amazing space it really is can't wait for you to come and see it so last little bits of fabric that we've got it's another couple of fabric godmother ones I love the colors in this it's like a proper Monet watercolor water lily kind of thing isn't it it's beautiful oh it's upside down there we go I think it's called irises it should be Iris floral viscous crepe. Yes, indeed. I think that's very pretty. Slightly heavier crepe this time, actually, which is rather nice. So it's got much more of a drape, a, a, a bit more of a kind of a medium weight drape to this, which I think is, again, really nice. But that made up in just a really simple little Angelica dress with the tears like I'm wearing now. Oh, it's perfect for the summer. Just with white trainers, little cardigan, and that's it. You're done and sorted, aren't you? So that's Iris, which is, again, a really pretty one. Now, again, this is a proper statement fabric. And I think this is, wow. I mean, look at that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That's proper 60s flower power kind of thing going on. And it's called Clara. It's an Eco Vera uh, crepe, which is rather good. So it means it's a, a more of a sustainably produced fabric as well, which is good. Look at that. That would look, do you know what? If you made a Lavinia in that as a proper kind of maxi dress, that would look amazing taking it on holiday. That would be so cool. Love it, love it. So that's Clara. Sunflowers, beautiful. Bit mad, bit bonkers. But I think you'd certainly make an impact, wouldn't you? Gosh. Uh, 
Or even, do you know what? A jumpsuit in that would look really cool. The Clio jumpsuit would look amazing in that as well. Oh, nice. So another Fabric Godmother one, which we've got here. This is Dolores. Now, similar to the Joni one I showed you earlier, it has got fabric stripes. Now, these are more even stripes. But again, that's so pretty, isn't it? So it would work brilliantly for the Angelica because you've got the tiered skirt and that would work really nicely with the stripes in the fabric as well. And this colour, this is a very soft, it's a kind green. Sometimes greens can be a little bit harsh against your skin, but actually this is a really nice one. And the pinks really kind of soften it as well. So pretty. So this is Dolores. Now another green floral. This one is a bit more kind of vintage inspired. Roses are red viscose. There we are. Similar kind of green background, which is rather nice actually. But this has got that kind of vintage look to it, which is really sweet. So I think this would work really nicely for a Miranda dress which is slightly more fitted. It has those princess seams and the skirt that's got the pleats in it, which I think is lovely. Um, a little bit more kind of 40s style, perhaps, or even you could even kind of, I suppose, going into a 50s, but I think this is really pretty. Um, again, it's a viscose, cra viscose rayon, so it's just a plain weave again, so no texture, nice and matte, which is lovely. So you could just focus on the print. That's brilliant. So it's roses are red and again, 140 wide. So you get quite a lot of fabric in there. Now, this one is really sweet. This is just a really simple little cotton. Um, it's kind of got a, a thicker, thinner stripe woven through it. And then it's overprinted with um, looks a bit like forget me nots, I think. But that's really pretty. So because it's a cotton, it doesn't quite have that kind of wobble and drape to it like a viscose. Um, it's a seersucker. There we go. That's it. So the seersucker goes across the width of the fabric rather than along the length of it. Um, so you can see how it's the seersucker kind of crinkles up the fabric, but it's got that little bit of give to it as it kind of stretches the, the crinkles out flat. But this would be beautiful for a cilia top. Actually, that would look really cute in a cilia. Or you could even do the um, Peter Pan collar version of the iris top, which would be rather nice in that too. So this is called... Do you know what? We'll put the link up to it because I haven't got a label on here. Oh, yes, I have. I have. Green florette. There we go. Cotton mix which is rather lovely. So perfect. Now, actually, a Lavinia summer dress in this would look really nice as well. There, there we go. Another Atelier brunette. So this is the different colorway to the Lucy, but this is in ochre. Now, again, I love this. This lends itself beautifully to a Florence or a Jessica or even an Angelica, I think. That you can see the background colour of it, which is the ochre yellow, really pretty. And then it has these dark, almost kind of midnight little circles, little kind of berries in the flowers there, which is really pretty. I like that. So that is uh, Lucy in ochre. Now another slightly more autumnal, kind of warmer colour fabric. Again, this is really pretty. It's called, oh, there we are. Gotta get the right glasses on. Burnt Orange Bouquet. Now, again, it's a poly, similar to the uh, blue and yellow one there, but it is a really lovely quality, actually. So again, if you prefer kind of warmer colors, then I think this is lovely. And again, it's got that nice kind of drape and wobble to it. So again, that would make up really nicely into a Florence, for example. Very pretty. Almost that kind of like woodland sort of flowers, that kind of thing. Little kind of creeping geranium flower heads, that kind of stuff, which is really pretty. So that's nice. And then we've got... Now, again, Haley's pinched this one first as well. And it's lovely. She's 
she makes the best choices in fabrics, honestly. Um, this is called Chloe, and it's a cotton viscose mix, but it is a seersucker. So it's got a very gentle little seersucker in here, and these beautiful little kind of sprigs of flowers just lend itself to a blouse or a shirt or something like that. looks really cute. But you can see it's got very slight kind of seersucker stripes that go up along the fabric, so parallel to the selvage. But I think that's lovely, really pretty, quite delicate looking. And this would make up really nicely if you wanted to do something like the Celia and put little kind of insert little frills into the seams. That is exactly the kind of detail that would work brilliantly with this fabric. And then you can just pick out one of the colours to um, edge, the uh, to finish off the edge of the frill with a rolled hem on your overlocker which is quite cool. So this is called, yes, Chloe. And it's really pretty, actually. I mean, you could, we've got, now, um, we haven't got the dates up for it yet, but we are doing a camisole and shorts day, which is rather nice. So I could just see a little kind of bed set made up in this as well, which would look really cute. So, um, yeah, really nice. Little camisole and shorts for the summer. Be really sweet in that. There we go. So we've got another Atelier Brunette. So same kind of fabric as before, but a different colorway. And again, so this is called Peony in Rust. Similar kind of print, but a slightly darker background. That lovely kind of rusty. It is almost like a wine red, actually. Again, really pretty, lovely, bold design. So it would work brilliantly with a cake dress because you haven't got anything to kind of interfere with that. Equally, I think it would look rather nice on the Florence or the Angelica. Again, because you've got quite a lot of fabric, there's no real kind of major seam details. So you're not interrupting the pattern on the fabric. So that would work beautifully as well. And then the last one we've got is more of a poplin. So I think this would make up beautifully, although we've got dresses today, this in a Cesario shirt would look incredible. Really lovely. Um, it's a poplin, so it's l slightly heavier weight and a more dense kind of weave than a cotton lawn. And it has that kind of crisp, you can hear it, can't you? It has that kind of crisp shirt weight feel to it, which is lovely. So that would give you something that's got a little bit more structure rather than anything that's got a lot of drape to it. So making this up in a shirt would look incredible. Equally, you could make it up in the Lavinia because you've got the quite a structured kind of shape on the bodice and then the gathered skirt. It would just give you a little bit more volume in the skirt and look really rather nice. It feels gorgeous. It has that, that proper kind of shirt weight cotton feel to it, which is lovely. So this is... Poppy Meadow, and it has this beautiful kind of two, we have a, almost like a purpley red and an orangey red in the poppies there, which is brilliant. So, we'll be back live next week with a lot more stuff to show you. Um, and we'll probably do a walk around even. So don't forget, we've got loads of new workshops coming up because now we've got our new workshop space, which looks incredible, I have to say. I mean, it's just absolutely a joy and a bliss. If you've enjoyed coming to the studio that we've got at the moment, you're going to be blown away by the new space that we've got. It's absolutely incredible. It really is. So hopefully we'll look forward to seeing you there soon. And I will be back live next week, recovering from the retreat. So take care, enjoy your sewing, and we'll see you soon.